Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Always On My Mind by Willie Nelson. You can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords above it, and I've got pictures of the chords off to the side, plus some picking tips and little tips as you go through it, okay? All right, this is the last song that I'm doing for 2018. This was the, the next request on my request list, and I'm trying to do four songs a month, plus one of those being a request off my request list. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a plate with him once, then we'll go back and show you how to do it. I'm gonna let him sing, because it's not in my range. But, anyway. Here we go. Miss the beginning. Maybe I love you. Nelson very much here and there, you know, but as I really sat and watched this, I thought, oh, this is good. I like this. Okay, so um, again, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You print off the words. I'm going to take you through it step by step. It says here the intro and then a regular pick. Let me show you the regular pick first, okay? No capo. Well, I've seen him play it in a different key also, and for my voice, I would probably want a capo up to maybe five or something, but I'm going to go ahead and try to leave it in the key that we just played it in so that you can just kind of go along and play it with, with Willie Nelson if you want to. Okay, so the regular pick is what I'm calling bass three, twins three, and twins for me is one and two plucked together, or maybe it's three and four plucked together, but it's two strings plucked together. And this is a really typical pick. Bass three, twins three, bass three, twins three. Sometimes 
chords, you can alternate your bass note. We're on an A. Okay, so on a D, I would start with four. Four, three, twins, three, and I would just probably stay there. Or this optional pick is bass three, two, three, one, two, three, one, bass three, two, three, one, two, three, one. You pick. Okay, and I kind of do a combination of everything through the song because it's just more, more pretty the way. There are a few other picks that I'm going to enter, stick in here, enter, insert somewhere in here, um, and you can do whatever you want to. But those two work for the majority of the song, okay? So I'm going to just, the, oh, the intro, let me go back. The intro is I'm going to pluck um, six and one and two, and then four, three, two. So on a G, I'm going to go one, two, and six, and then pointer's going to go on, no, that's not true, four, three, two, yeah, so I'm plucking one, two, one, two, and six, four, three, two, on a G, then a D, four, and one, three, two, one, then an E minor, one, two, and six again, four, three, two, and then an A, four, I'm going to go five and two, what am I doing? Where do I want to go? because I always get a buzz on that for because he's like so far. Anyway, I might just go like that. Okay, so four, no, sorry, five and two, and then three. Oh, so sorry, this is an A4. I've got a picture of that. That's the first chord right there that I've got a picture of because it's the first non-regular chord. It's an A with your ring slid up into the third fret on the second string, okay? So I'm going to hit five and two, and then three. Slide him back into the second fret, regular A now. Five and two, three, okay? So my intro sounds like this. On a G, six and one, four, three, two, then D, four and one, four, or sorry, four and, four and one, three, two, one, E minor, six and one and two, four, three, two, and then an A4, five and two, three, no, that was an A7, five, so A4, five and two, three, slide into an A, five and two, three, okay, let me play that without talking because I kept messing myself up. So that's the goal on that um, intro. Then I'm going to go to my D and I'm going to do my regular pick, okay? And I, might, I probably will start off with this one. And this is way too high for my voice. Okay, here we go. Sorry about a soprano. Okay, then a B minor. B minor, if you don't know, is a bar on the second string, and then the tall man's on the, no, sorry, second fret. Tall man's on the second string, third fret, and these guys are on fourth and third on the fourth fret. It's kind of an intermediate level song. I wouldn't try it if you're a beginner unless you really want to push yourself. Okay, so on this one, since you only have four beats, I'm going to go bass three, twins three, and then I'm going to do an, a B minor with a bass of A, and that's what it says, B minor slash A. I've got a picture of it for you, but all I'm doing is I'm pulling my ring, my pointer finger down off of the fifth string and just holding down four strings instead of five, and that opens up my fifth string, okay, and that becomes, that's an A, whoops, and then that is my new bass note. Okay, so I go... So it goes, what is often a sign that a G could have, and I just did the bass three, twins three, and now on this G and A, I'm going to go one, two, and six, and then three, and then go two and A, and do one, two, and five, pluck together, and then three, pluck everybody together, three, and then everybody together, three, because I've only got two beats, and when I only have one, two, one, two, when I only have two beats, I want to get as much of the chord in there because it's just prettier usually okay all right so that's your first line let's second line same as the first except for the last chord so i'll kind of walk you through it here we go second line Maybe I didn't treat you. wish i were soprano sorry b minor what is good as I e seventh should have sure. I can't quite 
can't tell what he's playing and there's other instruments and I swear I'm hearing that seventh there, but you can play an E too if you like that. So here's an E, E seventh is just lift your ring. We've got a picture of that too in case you don't know that. Okay, then we're gonna, so I just, I kind of walked up six, four, three, two, one, two, three, one, no, six, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, or E seventh. Just walking up and back down. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to a G. Okay, I'm dropping down an octave. Here we go. If I made you feel D, second best. So eight counts on both the G and the D, and then this G I'm only going to get four, so I'm going to go back to bass three, twins three. Girl, girl, long. Except I wouldn't say girl because I'm a girl. I'd say guy. I'm No, I'd say well. Well, I'm sorry I was. Okay, and this is a D with a bass of an F sharp. All I'm doing there is I'm wrapping my thumb around and holding down the sixth string second fret. So I can get my, oops, tweaked it. Okay. And then E minor, and then four. Okay, so I'm gonna go G, bass three, twins three, and then a D with my thumb wrapped around. Six is my bass note, and then I'm gonna go to an E minor. And then I'm gonna lift my tall man and hit four. Seventh, and I have a little one next to that right here and a little picture of it because that is the first E minor seventh of the song. There's another one coming up. It's a different arrangement, but it's still an E minor seventh, okay? Now I'm going to show you a fun little trick. G, D with your thumb wrapped around. F sharp is your bass note on that. And then an E, instead of just going like this and then lifting that up, technically I could go like this. because I'm not hitting five and four. So if you need to shake out your hand or fix your boot or whatever it is you're working on, this is your chance because you really don't need your hand. Get your hair out of your eyes, whatever you got to do. Here's your open E and your E minor seventh when you hit that. Or it's your open E minor and then four. Sounds exactly the same because I'm hitting the exact same strings, okay? Then you're going to go to an A, five, bass three, you twins around that one. You are always a boy. Okay, let me show you what I did there. So I went A, bass, three, twins, three, and then I'm going to drop my ring down, grab the first string, and I could technically let go of him because I'm not playing him, but since I'm there, I like to keep my fingers on whenever possible in case I bump them. Okay, that's not the sound I want. I want that one. I could technically take him off. Sounds exactly the same. Okay, what you can do if that's too hard for you. So A, and then I held down four and one, but you really just need one. And now I plucked one, two, and five, and then I hit three, and then I added my pinky, and on the first string, third fret, and my tall man on the second string, second fret. And I hit one, two, and five again, and hit three. So it sounds like this. You were always on my And I'm going to go to a D. And I'm going to do a bass three, twins three on that one too. Bass three, twins three. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm going to do on the D. And then I'm going to put my pinky on the first string under my ring and move my pointer up to the fourth string, second fret. And I'm going to pluck one, two, and four, and then three, and then I'm going to slide up two frets. Now, I can't do that with the same pick, because it's ugly, okay? So, and I, I fiddled around, and there is nowhere that, with my pinky on and that guy, there's nowhere these two fingers can grab that make two and three sound pretty. So two and three are now off limits. I don't care if you lift up your fingers or just hold them there, because it's easier. I just slide, slide the whole thing, but you don't... But that's kind of hollow. I really want the third, but the third is out of reach. Let's say it's not worth it because I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add the fifth, and it sounds kind of pretty. I'm gonna add the fifth string. It sounds kind of pretty. Okay, because I have. 
have that third down there, an octave lower. Okay, so I'm gonna, right here, I'm just gonna grab one and four, and then hit five. The problem is, three is ringing. That is ringing. It's still ringing, and I don't like the ringing, so I'm gonna do a little trick. I'm gonna take my pointer, and I'm gonna lay him just lightly. All I'm gonna do, can you see that? I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mute him. Can you see that? Cool little trick, huh? So if you're getting a string that's ringing, and I just laid him down so you can't hear that string anymore, because I'm touching him with my pointer on purpose. I'm muting him, okay? Because I don't want that ringing sound. That's all I want is four and one, five. I don't want this renegade string in there. Okay, so I'm gonna mute him. Okay, and it takes some practice to just just touch him. And, if, and, and if, you, if you can't do it, don't worry, it goes by so fast. Yeah, I hear it won't do it. You can barely hear it. Okay, so you can still not hardly hear it. But if it bugs you, you can mute him down. Okay, and then a G. Bass three, twins three. And then an A. And then a D. Okay, so let me take it that far on the A. I wish I had more control. My mind, we'll just do that. And then, so so we just went bass three, twins three, you were up on my D, mind. Now I'm gonna play a G and an A. Oh, that was an F. So what I'm doing here is I'm going one, two, and six, and then hit three, and then on an A, one, two, and five, and then hit three. We've done that before, it's only a two beater. When we only have two beats, we gotta get more strings in there. And that's what I'm going to do on that G. So it kind of sounds like this. You were always on my, my mind. Oops, are we on the second verse yet? No, I think that is the first verse we just finished. Okay, so then we're going to repeat it for the second verse. Maybe I didn't told you. Exactly the same. B minor. Pull it down and give me an open five. on a G, then three, and then grab everybody on an A, and hit three. D. I guess I never told you. Totally optional if you want to do that. So you're on an A, and then I'm just going to let go. Totally optional if you want to, but I'm, what am I, on the fifth string, first fret, no, sorry, first string, fifth fret, and then the third fret and then the second fret, and then open, and then right to my B minor. So it sounds kind of pretty. So you, second verse here, or second verse, second line is where I would, I wouldn't do it every time, I'd throw it in wherever you feel like, but not that often. I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're So I'm doing the B minor, pull it down. Happy that you're Now we're going to do that E seventh minor. Note of six. Um, never took the E minor time. Then open four for your E minor seventh first version with the one next to it. Then A. You were always on That's the part we did before, right? Then a G. that's a little different, okay? We're gonna do a, now you can do a D here. You can just, if this, if these are too hard guys, you can just not do all the fun little fingering. You can just stick with the basic chords and that'll get you through. But here's a fun little thing to do that I'm gonna call a pinch D. I want to do a D, and then 
then I want my bass note to walk on down. It's gonna go as low as it's as, and then it has to jump back up to that one. It has to jump back up to that, I think. Anyway, so on a D, I'm gonna start with this D, and in order to get it to walk down, I've gotta shift my D. So, and I am slow at that transition right there. So I have this thing I call a pinch D, and I have it written down for myself because I'll never remember if I don't see the word pinch. I'll grab a D, and then I'm like, oh no, I'm in trouble, okay, because <laughs> I can't get there fast enough. But if I start with a pinch, which a pinch D for me is pinching one, two, and three, tall man on the second string, third fret, okay? sounds exactly the same, because it is exactly the same, I'm just doing it differently, but that frees up my ring finger to reach up and grab the fifth string, fourth fret, and do my walk down, okay? So then I grab my fifth string, and now I'm just going to move my pointer up, and I could actually do a B minor seventh right here, but if that bugs you, you can put on your full B minor, okay, or you can leave it open, that's definitely easier, okay, or you can on your B minor. And then I'm going to pull that down just like we did before, and I'm actually going to go back to a regular D or a pinch D. I'm not going to leave that guy on. I'm going to, I'm going to pull them off and go to a regular D there, okay? And then I'm going to go to a G. Tell me that you're, and I'm just continuing that bass walk down. Tell me that D with the thumb hanging over, D with the bass of F sharp. Sweet love has it, E minor. Whew, die. Or you can hold it down if you want to. It doesn't matter because I'm not playing any of those strings. And then an A. Do it again. Pinch D. And give me. Oh, sorry. Give me G. We're just repeating. One more chance. D with the thumb, keep you status, E minor, fa, fa. boy I want to go fa, but I just can't get my voice to obey, fa, oh man, why aren't I on Broadway, <laughs> this is why, I wish I had the voice to be on Broadway, is what I meant, okay, fa, fa. what am I singing, keep you status, fa, keep you status, D, fa, but with no words. This is the first verse. The first two lines of the first and the second verse are exactly the same. Actually, I'd probably go like this. So I want to grab that first string. So that, what I just did, that little guitar interlude, is the same exact thing as the first two lines of either verse, the first or the second verse. It's just a repeat with no words, okay? G, here we go. Little things I should have descended. Back to G. I just, and then D with the thumb over. Never took the E minor time. And left your open four string, E minor seventh. Oh, what did I forget? I forgot to tell you. The second E minor. Where is that second E minor? Oh, that's what that is. Hold on a second. Well, it's coming up. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Never took the time. Then A. You were all no. You were all fine. Okay, so that is my A7. Two, six. Oh, can I forgot to tell you the names of those. Sorry about that. So I'm calling that A726, and I have a picture of it. It's just the four and the one. You were always, and then your A7, and then a D. And here's your second E minor. That's what it is. E minor seventh. Sorry. a high D. I forgot to tell you the names of those, okay? So, then a D, then your second E minor 7, and then slide up two frets and hit 4 and 1, 5, 
right? And that's where you can mute if you want to, mute that third string. And then back to a G. You were always on my mind. Repeat that. Then A. You were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Okay, and that however you want. One, three, what did I do? Four and one. No, I did four, three, two, three, and one, two, and four. Okay, that's a nice way to end that. Okay, all right, that is Willie Nelson's, eh, sort of Willie Nelson's or Elvis's, whichever one you like. Um, always on my mind. I actually don't know who wrote this, but anyway, pretty song. I hope you enjoyed that. You can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords. All kinds of fun details on that. All right, for more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com and have a happy new year.